Now notice this. The Roman centurion, and that's what the question was from Portland, why did Jesus help that, the, the, refuse to help the lady at first, but yet whenever the Roman centurion came up and said, Lord, my servant lies at home sick of the palsy, Jesus doesn't even wait for an invitation. He literally jumps at the chance and says, I'll come heal him. You notice the man wouldn't finish talking. If you read the story, he wouldn't finish talking. Jesus interrupted him and said, I'll come heal him. Yeah. And then the Roman centurion said, whoa, whoa, no, no, you don't have to come. I didn't come to get you to come to my house. He said, I'm a man under authority. And I tell my servant to do this, he does it. I tell him this guy to do that, and he does that. If you just speak the word only, I know my servant will be healed. In other words, Jesus, you don't have to come to my house. I recognize you have authority, and if you speak, my servant will be healed. Yeah. Do you get that? And Jesus, it says, if you read it, it says he turned to his disciples, his own followers, and told them, I have not found such great faith, no, not in Israel. In other words, he, he wouldn't talk about the nation of Israel. He was talking about the people of Israel. He said, I hadn't found this kind of faith in you guys. I mean, here's this, you know, Jairus, he comes and says, you've got to come. My daughter's dying. You've got to come. If you lay your hands on her, she will live. But here, this Roman centurion, not a covenant person, has no covenant rights. And yet he comes and says, you don't have to come to my house. All you've got to do is give a command. And he had greater faith than a covenant person, Jairus, who said, you've got to come. Do you see the difference? Yeah. Jesus said, you've got great faith. So what is great faith with the Roman centurion? What was his great faith? Now, put it this way. If you want to walk in great faith, it's easy. Learn authority. Yeah. Uh, knowing authority is great faith. When you learn authority, you will operate in great faith. If you do not learn authority, you will not operate in great faith. It's just that simple. 